legend. How else will you beg me for mercy? I am Esherim, war chief of the vanished. This is my world now. And you have little time remaining. Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a long-awaited look at the campaign that continues the story of Fame Master Chief with Halo Infinite. After receiving a full year and more to bake a little bit more, the wait is finally over with Halo Infinite, a once launch title for the Xbox Series X and S. Although not fully complete, as this is the first Halo since Halo 4, where I'll be playing not multiplayer with a friend in co-op in a campaign mode just like I've done in the past. Unfortunately, multiplayer co-op for the campaign will be coming later in 2022. So let's take a dive into what was given to us now. Halo Infinite was developed by 343 Industries and released by Xbox Game Studios in 2021 for the last gen Xbox One Xbox One X, and the current gen Xbox Series X and S. The game is a sixth installment of the Halo franchise and is 343's third game after Bungie left for their game Destiny. The story follows Master Chief as they are in the midst of a war with the Banished. It seems the war after a chilling conclusion with Cortana has taken its toll where it seems humanity is losing tremendously to the Banished. After Master Chief awakens again and must strive to gather human survivors and pretty much build an army to confront the Banished and determine what happened to Cortana. Really getting into the story since Halo 4, I was really happy to see Master Chief once again at the head of the game rather than splitting time in Halo 5 Guardians. The one con I see right away is that the story, although well written and well acted and supported, is the weak link of this open world drama. As you escape on your own, you are welcome to the open world where it is vast and huge to explore and it becomes very obvious what you must do as is virtually the same in all games and open world scenarios. You gotta rescue survivors, build your empire, and finally fight back and somehow learning a bit more of the story as you move on. Very similar to almost all open world games where you start from scratch and build an incredible resistance. There are more UNSC forward operating bases that have fallen into banished hands. Well, pause. They have pause. Each one is associated with a territory. Here is the location of the UNSC signal I've been tracking. And here are two more fobs. Mark it. Let's go. Let's go. What? There? The one thing that keeps you going rather than feeling disparaged from all the work laid in front of you is the gameplay and knowing that you're the chief. The game runs smooth at 60 frames per second in quality mode and 120 frames per second in performance. I could only do the 60 frames per second and it feels just right. The responsiveness and gunplay here is top notch and just plays as well overall. The game feels the best in the series today. The visuals back the product with quality as the design harkens back to the original Halo 1 and 2, but really pushes the exploration with a grappling hook that lets you climb wherever, anywhere, making no excuses in getting from point A to point B. One of the unsung heroics that you will hear in the game is the soundtrack and voices. It is fantastic to listen to and takes every scene and brings it out further with this beautiful to overwhelmingly awesome orchestra that will never bore you in a fight in a dramatic scene to your average stroll of the land. Just beautiful and enriching. Show daddy how big you are, can you sing? So big. So big. Good, and can you sing? Very happy. Good singing. 
How about I miss you? I miss you. And I love you. I love you, Daddy. And <laughs> good. And can you say, I can't wait to see you again. I can't wait to see you again. Okay, now say bye-bye. Bye-bye. The decision to develop the game further with their new slipspace engine that will help develop bigger worlds with the end result being very impressive the gameplay and visuals shine over the story more than it should but you get a game i can't just put down with its addictiveness to save everyone because you're the master chief although the premise to me is a me too open world game with the usual suspects and targets to reach the gameplay and sheer quality of what is in front of you really helps transform the experience into something more than your average game. Halo Infinite gets an 8.5 out of 10 for its first foray into the open world environment filled with things to do. Although a bit short and nothing that other open world games can't do as well, here is a fantastic way to waste time and having fun at an almost perfect gameplay and being the chief once again is just awesome in itself not the best but certainly moving in the right direction that's it for me on this look at the campaign mode for halo infinite please like and subscribe if you like my videos be ho out and great take us out of here and i will see you all next upload of him he was some sort of leader they called him Tremonius not anymore that's almost funny damn